back uh, to in today's session. We'll be learning another important thing called JavaScript expressions. So we'll be learning JavaScript expressions in JSX. Now, up till now, you might have seen that uh, using JSX, we were able to write HTML inside a JavaScript file. Where did we do this? We used to do this in the inside the render method, if you remember, um, which we'll see in a moment. So we were able to write plain uh, HTML inside our JavaScript file using JSX. But one fun thing about, or one um, cool thing about JSX is, it allows us to go even further. It allows us to further write JavaScript inside HTML which is already inside a JavaScript file. So <laughs> it keeps on um, going deeper. So sort of an inception level deep. So in order to understand it, we have to dive deep as well. So let's get started. I hope you are able to see this. This is the starting sandbox we'll be having. Nothing changed. Um, Everything is the same, except the fact that we have high there um, being represented, represented here. Now, in here, if I write a constant, let's call it name, and it consists of my name. Okay, now. Instead of what, what do we want here is instead of this T H E R E represented in H1 right here, we want to display this name, but we do not want to do it like this. All right, this is the hard coded way. We want to display this name here dynamically so as to um, have this here. And let's say in, in future, according to our requirements, we wanted to change this name to something else like this so it automatically automatically gets uh, changed or refreshed wherever this particular name is referenced throughout the project so in order to do this um, what we need to do is just put two curly braces just wrap this name inside two curly braces and you can see this particular part is now getting reflected as you can see without touching this i changed this name inside this constant and the desired result was updated here as well so if we look closely on this a javascript const is being uh, injected inside an HTML which is inside a JavaScript file so you can see why it it, <laughs> it was going like uh, this building on top of one another it is um, like and you know you can go even further like inception level JS inside HTML which is inside JS and so on and so on now uh, I have things are clear, pretty clear up till here. React on dot render. This function, render function, coming from React module. Using this, we were able to inject HTML inside a JavaScript file, and then using these curly braces, we further injected JavaScript inside this HTML right here. Now I have uh, one test or challenge for you. Now what I want you to do is do something like this. This particular name is being displayed dynamically here. It is already being displayed here. Now what I want you to do is you create another X tag. You have to guess what X is and write this line here in this particular number right here. This should be dynamically um, displayed here. You you don't have to write six hard code, like you don't have to hard code six here. You have to display num um, using the same method 
by which we displayed I displayed my name over here okay so give it a go pause this uh, video and try to do it yourself all right so I hope you were able to do this it's not a big deal you just have to create a num here uh, I have entered six here and as practiced several times we know that we are going to insert a paragraph tag here um, okay birthday your birthday month paragraph tag let's close this and let's close the div as well now as soon after typing this out as soon as you hit ctrl s or save this you'll see it it will automatically arrange your code in a somewhat like a nicer fashion so this was this is the solution you just have to create another num here i've created a const and using this way like using these curly braces the num will be displayed here dynamically okay now since uh, i said before using this curly curly brace here i'm just not i'm not just able to display um, some constants or variables here i'm able to write javascript code inside this or to be more precise i'm able to write javascript expressions here so instead of just uh, writing a particular const or where here if i try to put some mathematical or arithmetic operations here you'll be able to see that these are getting um, performed as well whereas if i remove this then it would it would just be displayed as plain strings right but adding these i'm able to do some like plain arithmetic operations here so what is this that i um, wrote here three into four this is being uh, interpreted by quotes and mods as a javascript expression now what else we can do here let's say if uh, i used the random method and okay so this is a number being displayed here let's multiply it by 10 now we get a single digit one and now i want to get rid of all the following like this okay no let's put this bracket here okay uh or random into 10 and i wanted to use math.flow here so what is the problem if i do this this is getting displayed here okay in this i think i need to put a value okay now you see if um, i'm putting this and if i refresh this let's uh hit this It is loading you can see the birthday month for this particular string right here it got updated previously it was displaying eight now it's displaying nine right let's hit uh, refresh once more yeah so okay due to some reason it's just switching between eight and nine let's move this put num back here so this is basically the javascript expression we write here now some of you might be thinking okay let's do one thing you are saying that i'm able to write javascript here cool what if i wrote something like this here six as if name 
equals to x y z turn two. So we'll be able to see that uh, I, this particular code is not working, all right? Because you know why? Even though this if condition, if uh, we try to write it inside a JavaScript file, it is supposed to work. But here, this particular condition, it is not a JavaScript expression. Instead, it is a statement, right? Now, what are these two terms in front of us right now? Okay, one is expression and another word is statement. So, we saw that the if condition here was not accepted because I am saying that uh, if condition is considered a statement. Now, to define in short, expression is something that get that turns into a value. Okay, expression is a piece of code that will ultimately result in a value, or to say becomes a value and one expression can have some multiple sub expressions as well now you saw that uh, when we wrote like something like this here now this is an expression why because if we keep solving an expression all right now it doesn't matter if i put um, another uh, bracket here and i performed another sort of operation in between it doesn't matter it will solve this and it will keep on solving the uh, sub expressions and ultimately whatever we wrote inside these curly braces they must return a value or they must turn into a value so if that happens we say that yes the uh, whatever stuff is inside these uh, braces it is an expression however when it comes to statement statement is uh, something which is basically some sort of action all right and they are something like uh, they are control actions all right let's say if we saw in the case of if or if there was some sort of loop there the the um, code here is trying to tell code, code sandbox okay that this is the particular condition or this is the particular command and i have to do this this and this according to the given command to me but statement is not turning itself into a value now i know it might uh, sound uh, confusing in the in the beginning so what i suggest you guys is to visit this particular video by code expands they have explained wonderfully within five minutes what is the difference between expressions and statements now although we'll be using this um, curly brace uh, trick that consists of expression but it is important to understand why we are not able to put if condition here why we are not able to put some uh, regular statement right here so in order to understand that do visit that video and even if you're not able to um, grasp the difference between them after, after watching this do let me know and we'll discuss it further okay now moving on let's do one more trick or let's say a one more challenge for you now up till now what we were doing was we were displaying a name like my name inside the variable name now what i want to do next is i want to display my full name all right okay yeah so right here you can see if i put uh, f name here idik is coming what i want from you guys is hi uh, let me write it this way all right i want this particular string or <laughs> you can put your name here your full name to be displayed right here how to do this now pause this and give it a try yourself okay 
so I hope you were able to do it now what can be done right here is we can simply since this is the part this is uh, JavaScript we are writing inside this so we put the first const here we concatenate it uh, with a space and then we will put the last name here so this way you can see we are able to achieve the desired result and my full name is being displayed right here now um, this particular little task that I gave you there are n number of ways to finish this so this one thing in ES6 called ES6 template literals or um, if um, you've come from some other background you might know string interpolations so what is this now using this what we can do is uh, putting these back ticks which will be interpreted as a string and using a dollar sign putting another curly brace in, inside this um, using f name and then putting a space here putting another dollar sign here and the me and this is curly brace inside it back tick and this back to right here okay if i hit save hmm. it is showing some error right here i'm sure this is back to right okay let me check this okay f enemy sorry <laughs> It was a typo. The end here is capital. Okay. So using this way, you you can see we are able to achieve the same result, right? So what I just uh, did here is called E6 template literals. Now what is happening is this particular stuff inside these backticks are interpreted as string, and these outer brackets this one in uh, using these this particular string is now being interpreted as a javascript and this particular javascript is then ins injected inside this uh, html so basically it appears a lot cluttered like a uh, lot cluttered right so i don't prefer doing this at all and i will recommend you to simply use the previous method which was much cleaner this way right it is much more readable and easier to perform however just to demonstrate that that there are alternate ways to achieve a one task i showed you what es6 template literals are if you want to read more about them you can always go on and read the documentation okay so now what do we learn today we learned how to dynamically display something or basically go on an inception level depth and insert like the way we injected html inside a javascript file we now know how to further inject javascript inside an html which is already injected inside a javascript oh my god this is some sort of a tongue twister right so yes this is the inception meme all right so that was all for this particular session and i'll be providing both the sandbox links uh, to you the starting one and the completed one in which we did that um, complete name one right um, like first name last name and and uh, the one that consisted of uh, having a paragraph tag and uh, your birth month listed right there so what i want you to do is take the sandbox link either the starting one or the ending one mess around with it try different permutations combinations whatever you think 
that um, can be done with it. Assign mini quests for you. Like, think, okay, I want to achieve this using um, the, inside that particular sandbox. I want to achieve this. And try to do it yourself. If you are able to do it, good. Not able to do it, again, go back, watch this session. And ultimately, you'll be, you'll be able to dynamically basically render whatever string you want inside an HTML now. So that is all from my side. I'll see you in the next one.